Hi, good morning, and welcome back to Create, Share, Inspire podcast. This is episode 863. I'm Kristen Omdahl, and we're here live in Southwest Florida in my studio again. I'm afraid Mother Nature has had other plans the last few days, and we've had some serious storms here. Uh, not serious, but it it's been serious in other places, but we're getting the tailwind and just tons and tons of rain. So it just doesn't make sense to go to the beach until the rain stops. Hi, Joe. Good morning, Grace. Hi, Diamond Girl. Good morning, everybody. Happy Friday. Thank you for joining me for another episode of Create, Share, Inspire podcast. Hi, Lily and Sean and Cherie and Rita, Judy, Thea, Christine, Kathy. Good morning, everybody. Hi, Thea. And Lisa, Marsha, good morning. Happy Friday, everybody. Thank you for joining me live. Hi, Suzanne and Joe, Edna, Cherie. <clears throat> Sorry, I said hi twice. Hi, Marianne. And uh, let's see. Let's see who else is going to join us this morning. Hi, Helen. Hi, Wendy. I really, I have several surprises this morning, some of which you probably already know. Hi, Sean. Good morning. Hi, sweet Melissa. So I surprised everybody with a second video tutorial yesterday. Hi, Jody, and I surprised everybody. Hi, Judy, and I also surprised everybody with a an email last night too. And so if you are already on my mailing list, you know some of the things I'm gonna talk about today. If you were on the wait list for certain colors and a certain yarn, you heard from me yesterday, and you may have watched a tutorial video, a second tutorial video. We released part one for the uh, Priscilla uh, Circle Vest last night, or yesterday morning. I released a tutorial video for this crochet bucket hat last night. And I released a new yarn to go with this bucket hat called Be So Airy Yarn. And uh, I restocked a bunch of colors in Be So Sporty Yarn yesterday. So, where do you want to begin? <laughs> and then today, uh, part two in the video series for the Priscilla Vest video will live premiere right after the podcast. So if you want to join me at 9.30 my time or 28 minutes from now, we will live premiere that video, which means I will join you in the chat so we can chat live about the video. If you have questions for me live, I can answer them. And then once it's uh, the live premiere is over, it just becomes a regular video and you can watch it anytime you want, watch it as many times as you want, play and pause as you need to follow along with the pattern and charts. Okay, yes, I have been busy. I'm always busy though, you know that. You wouldn't even believe how much is going on that I can't tell you about. <laughs> There's always so much going on, so much. Uh, thank you, Linda, the bucket hat. I am very, very happy about. I've made it in two colors. This is in Sandcastle and this one is in Strawberry. I made it for the first time checking out to see if I liked the yarn. Once I did love the yarn, I decided to bring it in and then uh, made the second version in order to uh, do the tutorial video. So going forward, I will make different patterns with it. But uh, I would like to give you a little backstory on uh, what a dream come true this is for me. So this is Be So Airy yarn. I'll show you the yarn and the colors, but then I really do want to explain the backstory behind this to you because I have been looking long and hard for many, many years to find the perfect yarn for sun hats and market bags and things that you want to be super durable and super resistant to lots of things. And that's a hard, that's a hard task because generally speaking, you look at, um, I, I tried linen before, I've tried straw before, and those yarns are very fragile. So when you do something that's really fragile, it not durable, um, even though they were super light. So finally, uh, stepped outside my comfort zone, and instead of trying to find a durable natural fiber for outdoor use, I eventually found this yarn, which is 100% polypropylene, which is a synthetic fiber, but it is literally the lightest yarn in the entire textile industry. Nothing is lighter than this. It is amazing. So it's super, super light, which means it's fantastic for hats that you don't want 
to keep you warm. This is just for sun protection, right? You don't want it to keep you warm too. So it is just a light as a feather. It is hypoallergenic. It is super duper light, but here's where it's really fantastic. It is water repellent, which makes it mold and mildew resistant. I have had so many straw bags and straw hats over the years, it's things that I even spent a lot of money on. I had a beautiful Michael Kors bag years ago, a big beach tote bag that was made out of straw and it molded. I had a gorgeous crochet um, straw cowboy hat with a beautiful beaded band and it molded and that's because it is a fiber that was porous. So with this yarn, it is so incredibly durable that not only can it's light and durable that I think I've finally found the perfect yarn for making sun hats and market bags. It's pretty amazing. So antibacterial, uh, water repellent, mold and mildew resistant, hypoallergenic, and the lightest fiber in the entire textile industry. What could be better for sun hats, <laughs> right? So I started with the bucket hat since this seems to be totally on trend this year, but market bags are gonna be amazing with this yarn. Uh, baskets, rugs, plant holders, plant, I mean, just so many things that, so it's 100% polypropylene and I explained that a little bit in the beginning and there's more information about it on my website as well. So the yarn is 230 yards per spool. I have it in 10. Uh, could you do the Serena hat using this yarn? Yes. The, any of the sun hats that I did in Be So Fresh yarn were with a number two sport weight yarn. This is more of a number three DK weight, so you may need to modify how many rounds you do. It, all of those hats were top-down construction, so you could easily modify them, but yes, absolutely, any you could use any sun hat pattern to use this yarn uh, really it's wonderful. I've been searching for the perfect yarn for this for years. I, I, I can't even tell you how excited I am about this. So you can find this pattern. It is a free pattern page on my website. It is also an ad-free PDF download for $1.99 with the charts and the written instructions. And there is a step-by-step -step video tutorial for it here on my YouTube channel as well. The yarn is Be So Airy Yarn. It's 230 yards per four ounces and you only need one ball, one spool to make a hat this size. Each one of these was done with one Be So Airy yarn, and it is $8.99 a ball. So pretty good deal to make a full-size hat. And this is so on trend this year, so on trend. Everybody's making these bucket hats from the major designers all the way down to crafters and uh I am. I can't wait to wear mine to the beach. I think it's kind of funny that uh, I can't go to the beach yet since it's been raining for three days. But that's okay. As soon as I can, I will be. I love the. So I did this one in strawberry and this one in sandcastle. But let me show you all ten colors. This is foam white, which is a true white. This is midnight black, which is a true jet black. Then we have Candy Apple Red, which I think will be fantastic for people that do the Red Hat Society uh, clubs. This is a beautiful Candy Apple Red. <laughs> then here's Strawberry, which is the color that I'm using in this hat. Then we have Sandcastle, and which looks more like a straw hat, like the natural color if you're doing a straw hat. It gives you that look, which is a great neutral for all of these pops of color too. This is mint green, so cute. And teal. And sapphire blue, so beautiful. And we have turquoise. So there's 10 colors available right now. I'm trying to figure out if I can get all of these to stand up for you together. You can see photos of all of them on my website too. So here's from my this elbow, we start with turquoise, sa uh, sapphire blue, teal, and mint green. The photos are very uh, up-close photos on my website. You can see the colors really well. Then from this side, we have candy apple red, midnight black, strawberry, and sandcastle. That's eight. What am I missing? I'm missing something. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Foam white is nine. I feel like I'm still missing a color. There's 10 colors. 
Hmm. There's 10 colors. What did I do here? So we've got foam white, midnight black, turquoise mint green, teal, sapphire blue. That's six. <sighs> I'm going to have to look. I'm going to have to look on the page. I can't find it. Let's see. I know there's 10 colors. Oh, lilac. I'm missing lilac. Oh, and it's so pretty. Hold on. Let me go grab it. You got to see lilac. Yeah, we can't skip lilac. Lilac's gorgeous too. And so if you wanted to make a big uh, tote bag, big shopping bag, big beach bag, big market bag, how fun would these colors be for doing big bold stripes? So pretty, so pretty. Like, I don't even know where to begin. This, uh, this, the purple, the white, and the neutral would be so pretty together. Or going with the pops of color. I mean, just so many different, even, Lilac, purple, turquoise, and strawberry. Wouldn't that be just amazing in a beach bag, a striped beach bag? Or even adding in some white with that, or adding in sandcastle with that. Just so festive and cute. I just think there's a lot of ways to combine these colors. There's so many pretty colors. And uh, yeah, so does anybody have any questions about that? Let me go back to the comments so I can see. Yes, you can do red, white, and blue too. Let me pull out the red, white, and blue. Yes, if you want to do something patriotic, absolutely. These are beautiful together. Look at this. You could do a uh, you could do a red, white, and blue hat for Fourth of July, or a beautiful um, or a beautiful tote bag. So many things you could do with that. Uh, they're they're all pretty they're all pretty on their own and they look great together what's the hat next to me it's another sample of the hat that i'm wearing on my head so i've got two samples of the airy bucket hat and these are uh what this is sandcastle this is a uh this is sandcastle here all right It's close to Sandcastle. This is a color that I got in as a sample test and it's not the exact color. It, the closest color it would be Sandcastle. Uh, any idea how much for a market bag? Well, think about it. If this is the size of one ball, think about that in terms of a bag. If you want, in fact, you could turn this hat upside down and add handles and there you have a small bag. So as you can see that it, you, one ball, if you turn it upside down, does give you a visual for how big of a bag it would be. It's not a very big bag. I would definitely say, uh, I would definitely consider two or three balls minimum for a bag. And it depends on how big you want your bag to be. But I do think that this is a great visual to turn the hat upside down to give you an idea of what one ball will do. I would say two to three. Maybe even four, depending on how big you want to go. Oh, right. In fact, what you could do is just keep going with this pattern because once we do the brim, which is as a bag, would just give you this wider section here. I would just go even in pattern from here. I wouldn't actually increase anymore. So you could just keep going. Or if you wanted to increase more, you could to make it flare even more. But that would be really great as a beach bag. And I would do the stripes uh, as color blocked. I would do one stripe, one stripe, and one stripe. I think that would be so cute. But you could do it in so many different ways. What's the texture similar to? I, I mean, the texture... It's a very tightly spun yarn, very tightly spun, and it is super duper light. So like it feels as light as a straw hat, but it would definitely looks more like a very tiny rope. It's more of a rope texture, but it is very, um, it's easy to work with. You saw, you could see how easy it was to work with in the video tutorial, but it is extremely strong. Now it has no give because it's strong, right? When you have a yarn that has a lot of give, it is easier to crochet with. So it's going to be a little harder to crochet with, kind of like a mercerized cotton is a little harder to crochet with because there's no give in the fiber. But 
it is extremely durable. Um, yeah, it'd be great for making jewelry. You could do macrame jewelry with this. Absolutely, absolutely. You could definitely make jewelry, any kind of jewelry that involves some knots or macrame. It would be really, really cool. In fact, that might be something really fun to experiment with. Yeah, now you got my wheels turning again. <laughs> All right, does anybody have any other questions about this? Uh, yes, it would be great on a loom also. Yes, it would be more like cording, yes. But it is the lightest fiber in the entire textile industry. 100% polypropylene is the lightest fiber in the entire textile industry and uh, it, it's just such an amazing contrast, right? It is the most durable, but it yet it is so light that it, it feels as light as a straw hat on my head. It is so light. It's amazing. Um, I do not have a market bag started right now, but I have several market bag patterns on my website that you could definitely get started with. Absolutely. Is it? It is waterproof. Yes, it is waterproof. And it's eight dollars and ninety nine cents a ball. Yep, sand dollar bag would be beautiful. Any of my market bags would be beautiful with this yarn. Absolutely. Great questions, everybody. And as far as the as far as the finished product goes, it's mold and mildew resistant, which makes it by far more wonderful than any straw or raffia yarn on the market. 230 yards per ball, is it scratchy? Absolutely not, Donna. It is smooth and soft. Smooth and soft in the respect, it still feels like a straw hat. So it's not fuzzy soft like regular yarn, but it is very smooth and soft. It is not scratchy. Yes, it is absolutely washable. Absolutely. Great questions, everybody. Absolutely, it's breathable, Joe. Absolutely. It is very, very, very light. Hi, Luna. Great questions, everybody. Keep them coming. And, and when you're uh, when the questions are done about Be So Airy yarn, again, $8.99 a ball. Do you think it will need blocking? Absolutely not. Mm -mm. Nope. Uh, yes, I'm I'm selling it inside a little protective bag like that. So you could work right out of the bag if you wanted to. Got the label on one side and uh, it's a reclosable bit. Is it moldable? Does it hold a shape? I think it would hold a shape. Yes, it is machine washable. I haven't tried putting a top piece in here. I haven't tried putting a, a section in there, but we could we could certainly try that. I've just been molding it to my head. I've just been molding these to my head so far. But once I've molded it to my head and kind of like flared out the edge here, it has stayed and it has held its shape. Thanks, Sharon. I can't wait to wear them to the beach. Well, I have worn this one to the beach, actually. Remember the other day when I was saying, I'm going to show you sneak peek, but I'm going to do it really fast? It was this hat, because I was so excited, and I really wanted to tell you about it, but I wasn't going to tell you about it until it was available. <laughs> do you remember that day? Does anybody remember that day on the beach? <laughs> I'll show you the other color on, too. But even though this isn't exactly the same color as Sandcastle, but you can see that natural color looks absolutely fantastic on, too. I absolutely am. I can't tell you how excited I am. I love it. I'm so excited. I can't wait to wear my own design of a bucket hat when I leave the house now. I've been stopping myself from buying a hat for so long now because I just wanted, I really wanted to find the right yarn to do it myself and to teach all of you. And yay, the day has come. See, you don't give up and you keep, keep looking and keep looking and you find what you're looking for. Uh, Cherie, you kept replaying the video to try to figure it out. Did you figure it out? Did you figure out my, uh, my uh, sneak peek? Did anybody figure out the sneak peek? 
Yes, Faye, you should definitely make these for family going to Disneyland. Okay, so next question that I'm gonna guess people are going to ask is, how do I make this in other sizes? So what you wanna do is figure out what size you wanna make, and if you wanna make these smaller, all you'll do is work less rounds in the crown. The rest of the hat will be done exactly the same. I have the stitch multiple set up in the crown so that no matter which round you end on, the multiple you need to do the, the walls and the brim are exactly the same. So if you wanna make it for different sizes, and I have charts on my website for you to find this, but whatever you want the circumference of the hat to be, you want the diameter of the crown times 3.14 and it will equal the circumference. There's lots of charts and lots of information about that on my website and on the internet in general. So whichever round you end on, and even if you wanted to make this bigger, whatever round you end on, the multiple is perfect to start the base of the hat because you want this to be in the same proportion, right? So whether you end on round four, five, six, or continue on to seven or eight, you will always get the same shape hat and it will always have the perfect multiple. So yay math. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna put the pink one back on. And then who wants to see colors back in stock for Be So Sporty Yarn? Because I have those with me here today. And we're going to run out of time for the other ideas that I had. Oh, yeah, someone's asking about my shirt. Thank you, Judy, for sharing the link. Um, cannot say enough about how much I love this shirt. It is so pretty and bohemian. I got this on Amazon. Judy's sharing the link. So far, I have usually worn it with a white bikini top underneath. Um, but I tried it on with a nude strapless bra today. I do not want to see strap lines here. And what's interesting is that my bra is here, but because the shirt is loose and I bought it oversized on purpose, I don't think you can see my bra strap back there. What do you guys think? We can't run long, Cherie, because we have a live premiere at 9.30. Otherwise, I would say so. Oh, Lisa, you bought the top in black. I would really like to buy it in other colors, too. Joe, you couldn't see it. Thank you. Thank you. How fun is that, that we can uh, act like we're girlfriends sitting in the same room <laughs> for stuff like that? I think that's so cool. Anyway, who's ready to see the back-in-stock colors for Be So Sporty? Um, so some of them are already wound because this is what we do. As soon as uh, the yarn is ready, we wind it right away so it's easier to ship. That's how we're able to ship so quickly. We wind the yarn before, as soon as they're ready, and then when the orders come in, we can just ship them out. So, some of them have been wound already, some of them have not, so I'll show you what I have. This is Blue Danube, the most beautiful, deep, rich blue there is. Uh, Chantilly Lace. I've used this so many times. It's a very soft, creamy white, not, uh, not pure white, definitely on the creamy side. Mint. I love this mint green. It's so soft and beautiful. Then we have night. I know a lot of people love this color, me included. Night, it's a nice soft black. Caribbean turquoise, possibly the most popular of all my colors of all time. I take that back. I would say mulberry and Caribbean turquoise are probably the two most popular colors of all time in Be So Sporty Yarn. Then we have Key West whole bunch of this sold out overnight, so I'm not sure how much is left, but that's Key West. Tropical Hot Coral. This is what I did the long sleeve Kimmy top in. Such a pretty, pretty color. How cute does that look with the turquoise too? But definitely very, um, very Miami Art Deco. I love that. Okay, and then we have Rainbow Sherbert. That's the color I used for the Selma cardigan. So pretty. Oh, I brought out another mint. All right. I brought out another Chantilly lace. All right. Then we have Passionate Plum. The original Kimmy Top is done in that. Chocolate Truffles. I feel like I made something in that, but I don't remember what now. Maybe I was going to. Here is Aloha Blue. And Charcoal. I love this color. So pretty. So soft. I... I would really like a poncho or like a bigger top, maybe like a loose vest or a poncho. I love that color. 
And Plumeria, I know a lot of you are really excited to see Plumeria come back in stock, especially once you saw my Athena shrug. Um, this is definitely inspired by my beautiful Plumeria tree in the backyard. It has a lot of a soft yellow in it with little pops of peach. So pretty. So that's back in stock. All of these are back in stock as of last night. If you were on the waiting list for any of these colors, you got an email immediately when I relisted them. So I apologize if... Um, uh, Faye, there are, I started listing these last night. A lot of them sold quickly, so I don't know what the inventory is in stock, but I will be, I, it looks like I will be reordering it in at least these 10 colors, maybe a few more. So if you want them now, I would definitely stock up because they're going fast. Uh, there were more than five in stock, but like I said, they've been going really fast. So if you order the, these now, I will ship them right away, and then they will be sold out until the new ones get here, but we'll, we'll try to get them in as soon as possible. Does anybody have any other questions? Lots of fun stuff going on. And if you order today, I will, if, as long as your order's in by like, Oh, I don't want to give a, a promise, but I try to ship same day. Yes, these were listed yesterday, and I sent out an email. If you're on my mailing list, you got notified about Be So Airy yesterday. I listed them on the site yesterday, and I did a tutorial video for the hat yesterday and released the patterns, the pattern for this yesterday. So, uh, yes, there were people that ordered as soon as they got the email and as soon as they saw the video. Yep. I don't think the video's uh, blurry on my end. I see other people saying it's not blurry either. Maybe it's your connection, Suzanne, I'm not sure. Uh, yes, this is the same yarn as this. If you're asking about these bags, yes, be so sporty yarn and be so fine yarn come in hanks, but I wind them into center pull balls and put them in organza bags uh, so that they're ready for you to start knitting and crocheting with as soon as they arrive. You don't have to wind these. Uh, I don't. You don't need to wind any yarn that I sell. Everything, um, everything is wound and ready to go, so that you can literally get your package in the mail and pull it out and start crafting immediately. <laughs> All right, any other questions? Yes, absolutely, Lily. Not everybody's good at winding yarn, and I found that over the years, um, there were just too many complaints about it, and I just said, you know what, I'm going to just do this uh, and do it as a courtesy. It is not, I don't charge for it, it's just a courtesy. Okay, who's ready for a quote? Because we have two minutes to go before the live premiere of part two of the Priscilla Vest video is going to air and it'd be really fun for us to do that together. Judy is posting a link to the live premiere. So if you wanna join me, it will be in two minutes, which means we have time to read one quote. Let's see what we can find. Where I'm still in uh, Create, Share, Inspire Notebook, volume one, issue two. Ooh, Khalil Gibran, he's one of my favorites. Um, oh, and also, what's today, 863? So yesterday's video, 862, that's the giveaway video. So if you are looking to, uh, if you would like to enter to win a set of all seven of these books, you wanna leave a comment on yesterday's podcast or episode 862, and next Thursday, I will choose a winner. All right, this is a quote by Khalil Gibran. Generosity is giving more than you can, and pride is taking less than you need. Ooh, I gotta read that one again. Sometimes it takes a little while to digest these, right? Generosity is giving more than you can, and pride is taking less than you need. Very interesting. Hi, Marlon. Hi. Good morning, Jim. Okay, morning. have a good one. Bye, honey. Love you. All right, I got distracted. Anyway, thank you, Khalil Gabran. That's a beautiful one and something that we can sit and think on for a while. So thank you all so much for taking time out of your busy day to spend a few minutes here with me. I hope you enjoyed 
all the yarny stuff we talked about today. I hope you enjoyed seeing brand new Be So Airy yarn, newly restocked, luscious Be So Sporty yarn, new patterns, and now we're going to go do another live premiere video. Let us make time to create, share, and inspire today and every day. Have a wonderful weekend, everybody, and I'll see you at the live premiere in 30 seconds, and I'll see you on Monday for the next episode of Create, Share, Inspire podcast. Bye-bye.